But as you can see, some people driving their trailers here or other stuff didn't really make it. Oh, Dan's gonna get attacked by the geese. Dan is the geese whisperer. So I'm gonna eat a Dorito, some hot dogs, some spinach, a tiny bit of mustard, and a tiny bit of onion. We got the big other tree to climb. Why are we climbing? And look at the grown ass man climbing a tree now. The Water Bandit. The Water Bandit by Camco. So it is dinner time and Dan's doing shrimp. Look at that, shrimp on the barbie for all of us. Getting a lot of good use out of it. Got what, two king size beds, but Two kings. Two kings, a 40 inch TV, a U-shaped dinette, a full size family fridge, and a, what, a six burner stove? Hi. Well, my name's Dax. I like to vlog. He's gonna put that in. <laughs> it's Dax. Hee hee hee. Is it recording? Oh yeah. Okay. I'm Dax and I like to vlog. Say a few words, Megan. I'm Dax M and I'm a vlogger but I don't post vlogs, I only post Tesla videos. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. So we are here, Earl Roll Provincial Park. We're all set up. Got here a little late, so we had a later dinner and stuff like that. We're gonna be here for the weekend. It's a nice fall weekend. Not officially fall, but so we decided to come for a little hike and um we're gonna walk from one side of this campsite, uh, campground, to the other side, which is just over there. Nice, it's nice and sunny. Probably, oh, this guy's leaving or coming. It's probably, what is it, about 12 or 13 degrees out? 15 maybe? So remember we had those gypsy moth, those gypsy moth caterpillars back in June and July? What's that? This is all, now you get this every year, but this year it's a little bit more. You can see it's in all the trees. Uh, some trees over there, I don't know if you can see it. And uh, this area doesn't have as much other than this one right here. Oh, there's some over there. But uh, during our hike, we saw some trees that were fully, fully covered in these cocoons. And I'm assuming it's from the gypsy moths, but maybe not. I think the gypsy moths came out in full effect back in, um, July or August when we went to Mikasu. So maybe those are just other kind of cocoons. So walking under the uh, roadway here and you can see the low bridge clearance sign there, 10 3. My trailer would fit perfectly under there. But as you can see, some people driving their trailers here or other stuff didn't really make it without some damage. Look at this. Some of the some of them chipped out the cement, made it even worse. Ugh. So this is new, I've never seen it before. Maybe it's not new, but I haven't seen it. But here at Row Row, you can actually scatter your loved one's remains. So we're here at the beach, <laughs> no, so-called beach, but uh, the water's down. And you know, the thing here at Row Row is that I've been, we've been coming here about six or seven years and we've yet to ever see this beach uh, sw swimmable or open. It's always uh, closed due to high E. coli levels. And uh, these are the E. coli culprits right there. <laughs> and as you can see on the ground, this is why they have E. coli in the water. There is goose droppings everywhere. It's a real shame because it's a nice area. Remember we were fishing here last yeah. year, bud? Yeah. Remember we caught some fish? You got the smallest bass ever. I got a small bass. Hold it. Hold the lip. Hold the lip. Oh, no. Oh, he's so small, you don't need to. Can you get the hook out yourself? Oh, oh. Get ready, bud. If I get this hook out by myself, I'm going to be very proud. Just pull it the opposite way. Pull it to the front of him. No, no. To the front, not to the side. To the front. Yeah, keep going. It's not coming out. Oh. Yeah, it will. Right there. It doesn't look like it's open though. It's open. It's right over here. 
We're going to the park store right over there. We're not sure it's open though. Look at all the poop. And then the feathers in the water there. That's not a scum line, that's feathers. <laughs> oh, Dan's gonna get attacked by the geese. Dan is the geese whisperer. <laughs> I hope they come back around and crap on you. Where is the kingpin? The, the queen goose turns around and attacks him. <laughs> well, that's one way to clear out a beach. Dan is being a good Samaritan here. People banged up their garbage and everything, and they were so close, but they didn't quite finish the job. Thanks, Dan. Hey. Go climb a tree. Go take a hike. We got the big other tree to climb. Why are we climbing? And look at the grown ass man climbing a tree now. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. You going down? A grown ass man. Here I'm next. <laughs> you gotta jump. It won't break. It's a, it's a live it's a live branch. I can see the needles on it. It's live. Crack. Once it breaks, you're gonna crack your head on the table. I you have to pay. I'm gonna crack. If you crack your head on the table. Yeah, I'll pay a hundred dollars from your hospital bed. <laughs> Abby, turn around and go the other way. Yeah, grab it that way so you don't crack the back. Or grab it sideways, Abby. Grab it sideways. Yeah, like that. Hug it. Hug the branch. Jump. You gotta jump. You gotta make the leap of faith. There you go. You did it. That's so scary, but it's actually crazy. So look at this beautiful tree. What is that? It's a bear climbing. It's a bear climbing tree. I'm only recording for falling possibilities. No. Oh. oh. It's lunchtime and Abby's eating. So I'm gonna eat a Dorito, some hot dogs, some spinach, a tiny bit of mustard and a tiny bit of onion. I need pickle. I'm sure. Go. <laughs> yeah, try pickle. Oh, she's going for it. Ah. What? Oh, that's the tiniest spider I've ever seen. Mm. Pretty Look good. It. Look at how tiny it is. It actually tastes pretty good. So how does it taste? Good. Like a hot dog. I'm going to try it with pickle. So Dan's got You're... this thing called, what's it called? The Water Bandit. The Water Bandit by Camco. And the purpose of it is just to slip on like that. It's threaded on, <coughs> on this end, male thread. So you attach it to a female end. And you can and, refill your camper. And you can, yeah, if you're close enough like we are, you go here and our camper is right over here. You need probably about 75 feet. Does it stay on? You see, you don't know about pressure though, right? Does it stay on with pressure? I don't know. See how it's, I, I honestly don't know if it would stay on with pressure. My thought is you're, you're best to hold it to make sure that it doesn't pop off. Yeah, maybe, yeah, two people. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a good idea. But at least, you know, if you're strapped, you don't have to drive your camper to the refill station. You just pop this yeah. on. Get some water for your camper and away you go. Well, you know what it's good for? A lot of provincial parks these days are going away from the threaded um, taps or the threaded hoses when you're dumping All out. All the ones we've been at are just the straight, the straight tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would work good for that maybe. So it is dinner time and Dan's doing shrimp. Look at that, shrimp on the barbie for all of us. You're such a nice guy, Dan. And uh, in case you haven't seen, this is Dan and Lynn's brand new uh, clipper pop-up trailer that they just got this year and they're using the heck out of it getting a lot of good use out of it got what two king size beds but two kings two kings um a 40 inch tv um <laughs> yeah, right. a, a u-shaped dinette a full-size family fridge and uh what a six burner stove 
all in this little, what is it, 12 feet? 10 feet? Two inches, buddy. Two inches, it's a two inch trailer. Ooh, steak time. Oh, I gotta put mine on. So it's almost dinner time and the kids are uh, climbing the tree. They love this tree, like I said. There is Abby right there. Can't even see her. She's so camouflaged. There you are, you're pretty high up. Yep. Now watch me come down. Look at this view. This has turned into a sod farm. Previous years we've been here, this has uh, grown corn. Last year I think it was uh, potatoes. And this year it's a giant sod farm. Pretty cool. Watch here. me fail to get down. Don't fail. Don't fail or fall. Oh. That was a bit hard. Not gonna lie. How much sap did you get on you guys? A lot. A lot. On your In clothing? My hair. Clothing? Hands. Okay. Well, hair and hands can wash out. Clothing basically can't. <laughs> I'm in love with yes. So what did we make? We made cookies? <laughs> what do they look like? Um, then? Oh, they're amazing. They are the most fantabulous oh, cookies you have ever seen. Oh Some of them have chocolate chips evidenced by the little brown spots. Mm. It looks like someone just uh Don't say it. on the on the good on the you know, the good thing what is good that side? we can actually eat these raw and they're not going to harm you, so mm. Mm, can't we're wait. Gonna, we're going to bet on that. Okay, what are you doing now? Cracking my neck. Oh, I'm going to take a deep breath. Oh, let me record that. Can you attach this to your wrist? Do you have a wipe on anybody? Okay, we're home. That's it. Um, we didn't film the next morning and packing up and everything like that uh, or even the drive home we just got in we just dropped dropped the trailer off at the uh, barn where we store it there we don't store it here in our drive because it's just too big kids and the family went in and we just were all unpacked and everything but that, that was a good trip we had fun uh, a different set of friends we went camping with we love Darren and Tammy and we're almost like family with them we, we we know them so well from from everything but camping we know them so well so we switched it up a, a, a little bit this weekend they couldn't come so we got uh, Dan and Lynn also very very good friends and we had a blast you can see Earl Row is one of those places where whether we go into spring or early summer or in the fall it's our, I think our second time going in the fall and it's just awesome the hikes and everything like that Earl Row is great yeah there's no lake or no beach or a pool you can swim in and it's been like that for as long as I think we've been going to Earl Row like six or seven times now I think we've only went to the pool once and we've never been able to swim at the beach. So it's that is, that's just how Earl Roy is. So we have one more trip coming up next weekend, folks. And that'll be the final one for the season. We're going back with Darren Tammy. Going to a place we've never been to before. Um, it's got a lot of waterfalls in and around the area and stuff like that. So it's not a provincial park. We're trying a... It's not even a private park. It's not a provincial park. It's not a private park. It's a conservation area, which should be pretty cool. Join us here next week, and that'll be our last one for the season. We'll wrap up the season going there, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye. Where are they? They're just disappearing into the wall of the trees. Okay, Quentin, tell us what's with the goggles. Um, so... Family Learning low Survival 101. They're learning how to make fire with sticks. Uh, good job. You keep doing that for about half an hour, don't stop, and uh, you'll have a fire. This is hotter than...